part B questions which are 20 marks and 20 questions. First question, the logarithmic form of a power x is equals to n is. Options are, option a, a is equals to log n to the base x. Option b, x is equals to log n to the base a. By seeing this option only, we can say in the formula we have, if a power x is equals to n, then x is equals to log n to the base a. So, option b, x is equals to log n to the base a. We want to remove this power f, x. So, how to remove this power x? By bringing log. Second question, expanded form of log 15 is. We know log 15 can be written as, we know the prime factorization of 15 is 5, 3 is 15. So, we can write 15 as 5 to 3. Now, we know that log a into b is log a plus log b. That is something but log 5 plus log 3. So, my answer is option C. So, I will write here. Third question, symbol of the null set is, we know null set is also uh, indicated by empty set and that is indicated by phi. This symbol is known as phi, so option D is the correct answer. Next question, shaded area of the following Venn diagram is, we know that in this set only B part is shaded. Only B part is shaded means B should come first. So here in option B only B is coming first and I know this type of questions will be difference of sets. That is either it should be A minus B or B minus A. But since B is shaded, the answer is B minus A. So option B. Next question. If P of X is equals to X square minus 3X plus 5, then the value of P of minus 2. Simply in place of X, substitute the value of minus 2. Answer 5. P of X is equals to X square minus 3X plus 5 I need p of minus 2 so minus 2 whole square minus 3 into minus 2 plus 5 simplify minus 2 whole square is 4 minus into minus is plus 3 2s are 6 plus 5 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 so option b answer is option b 15 next question quadratic polynomial of the following is we know in quadratic polynomial, the standard form should be ax square plus bx plus c. So, if in all the four options, only option b satisfies the standard form of ax square plus bx plus c. Because a we can see is here is 1, b we can see here is 3 and c is minus 9. And we know the degree of the quadratic polynomial should be 2. So, option b satisfies a quadratic polynomial. Seventh question, product of zeros of the polynomial p of x is equals to 3x square minus 4x plus 7 is. It is asking me product of zeros and polynomial is given. Product of zeros means I have to find out the value of alpha into beta. In this question, p of x is given as 3x square minus 4x plus 7. I compare it with ax square plus bx plus c. a is 3, b is minus 4 and c is 7. Now we have to find out product of zeros that is alpha into beta that is equals to c by a. c here is 7, a here is 3. So 7 by 3 is my answer which is option d. Eighth question, a point on y axis of the following is, observe the all the options. Actually whenever a point is there on y axis, suppose this is my x axis and this is my y axis. Point is there on y axis means the y coordinate should be there. And since it is lying on y-axis, the x-coordinate should be 0. So the point on y-axis should be of the form 0, comma y. In this option, c only satisfies 0, comma y. 0, comma phi is same as 0, comma y. Ninth question. If a is equals to 1, comma 2, comma phi, d is equals to 1, comma 2, then it is asking which relation is satisfied by a and b. We know that in B set also we have 1 comma 2 and in A set also we have 1 comma 2. So here we can say that 1 comma 2 are present in 1 comma 2 comma 5 only. That is the B set is present in A set also. So we can say that B is a subset of A. So option B is my answer. This symbol indicates subset. Tenth question. Distance between the origin and 3 comma 4 is. We know origin is given by 0 comma 0. So, I have to find out distance between 0, 0 and 3, 4. The formula to find out distance between origin and a point will always be root of x square plus y square. And here x will be 3 and y will be 4. So, root of 3 square plus 
4 square. I am simply substituting the values of x and y. 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, so root 16 plus 9 will give me root 25. So my answer is 5 units. That is nothing but option D. Next question. The probability of getting jack card from the deck of cards is? We know that totally there are 4 jacks out of 52 cards. So, and total number of cards will be equal to 52 the probability of number of jacks will be equal to 4 by 52 because number of jacks by total cards 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 1 2 4 threes are 12 so answer is 1 by 13 there is option d 12th question the mean of first four composite numbers is composite numbers are the numbers which have factors more than 2 so, the smallest composite number is 4, next is 6, next is 8 and 9. 4, 6, 8, 9 are our 4 composite numbers. We have to find out the mean for them. The formula for mean, we know sum of all observations by number of observations. Here I am not writing the formula because this is the objective type of question which I have to do only in half an hour. And no need to do the working in objective questions. You can just take the options. But here for explanation I am showing you. And in exam also you can do in last page. by total composite numbers here are 4 we know 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 8 is 18 and 18 plus 9 is 27 so 27 by 4 27 by 4 means 4 outside 27 inside 4 6 are 24 so minus 4 is 3 put a point bring down 0 4 7 is 28 2 0 4 5 is 20 i can say so 6.75 so mean is 6.75 of 4 composite numbers. Option C here. So right C. 13th question is ratio of areas of 2 similar triangles is given as 144 is to 441. Then it is asking me ratio of their perimeters. This is given by theorems. We know in similar triangles we have 2 theorems. One theorem states that the ratio of areas of 2 similar triangles is equals to Square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So suppose there are two triangles, A, B, C and P, Q, R. Then the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So let us suppose here the corresponding side is A, B and here the corresponding side is P, Q. So the squares of the corresponding sides is given by A, B square and P, Q square. Area 1 is area of first triangle, area 2 is area of second triangle. So here area is given 144 by 441 in the question and I have to find out AB by PQ. But we know AB square by PQ square is 144 by P441. So AB as it is square when it goes outside becomes square root and you should remember the square roots. The squares list are given on in the playlist of maths basics on my channel you can go and watch that video and learn squares till 25 so square root of 144 here is 12 and square root of 441 is 21 so we got a b by p q is 12 by by 21 we got we know both of them go in three table three fours are 12 three sevens are 21 so we got a b by p q is 4 by 7 In the question it is asking me ratio of perimeters we have another theorem the ratio of perimeters of two similar triangles is equals to the ratio of their corresponding sides that is we have perimeter 1 by perimeter 2 is given as ab by pq so ab by pq just now we got is 4 by 7 so we can say that perimeter 1 of first triangle or perimeter of second triangle is equals to 4 by 7. So my answer is option D, 4 is to 7, that is 4 by 7. Next question, a letter is chosen from the word mathematics. The probability that it was not a vowel is. First, let us write the word here. M-A-T-H-E-M-A-T-I-C-S. It is asking me, I have to find out the probability of not a vowel. 
Not a vowel means it should be a consonant. We know apart from A, E, I, O, U, all our alphabets in English. In this word, we have total words. That is total outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So total number of outcomes here are 11. And how many are consonants here if you observe? A is a vowel, so A is not a consonant. E is a vowel, so E is not a consonant. I is a vowel, so I is not a consonant. So how many words are left here? M is left, T is left, H is left, and C is left, and S is left. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 by 11 is my answer, which is option C. P of E is given as 0 0.005, then P of E bar is equals to. Given P of E is 0 0.05, we have to find out P of E bar. We know the formula for P of E bar is 1 minus P of E. So that is equals to 1 minus P of E here is 0 0.05. What is 1 minus 0 0.05? This will become 0, right? 0, 10, 9, 10 minus 5 is 5, 0 0.95. So, P of E bar here is 0 0.95, which is option C. Next question, if you observe for the terms x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 3, x belongs to n. That is all of these which are given here x plus 1, x plus 2 and so on are natural numbers. That is n. If the median of the data is 16, then I have to find out the value of x. So, first of all, for median, I should arrange these in the ascending order, that is small to big. We know here the smallest number here is x minus 3, followed by x minus 2, followed by x minus 1, followed by x plus 1, followed by x plus 2. Attraction is lowest and addition is largest. Observations are x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 1, x plus 1 and x plus 2 x plus 3. So total number of observations are given as 6 here and it is asking me to find out the median. So here n value is given as 6 because number of observations is given by 6. Now we know the formula for median is median is equals to average of n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1th observation. If number of observations are even. So, average of n by tooth and n by 2 plus 1th observation means, average means I have to divide it by 2 because n by 2 is 1 and n by 2 plus 1 is another. So, I have to divide by 2 to find out the median. That by 2. I know n by 2 is 6 by 2 tooth plus 6 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So, 2 1s are 2 and 2 3s are 6. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. So, here I can say it is third observation plus fourth observation divided by 2. So, third observation here if you have seen that is the reason why I have arranged in ascending order. If you see here first, second, third. Third observation is given by x minus 1. So, here I can write x minus 1 plus plus fourth observation is given by x plus 1. So this is my third observation and this is my fourth observation. x plus 1 by 2. So here and median is also given in the question. Given median is 16. So 16 is equals to in place of median I have substituted 16 here. 2 will go side side. 16 2s are 32 is equals to x plus x is 2x and minus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled. So here I have x is equals to 32 by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 16s are 32. So x is equals to 16. And that is option A. Next question. From the given figure triangle ABC, D is parallel to BC. AD is given as 1.5 cm. DB is given as 6 cm. AE is equals to x cm. EC is equals to 8 cm. Then x is equals to how much? We have this triangle ABC, this is D and this is E. Here it is saying AD is 1.5 cm, DB is 6 cm, AE is X cm and EC is 8 cm. 
DE is parallel to BC it is given and it is asking me to find out the value of this X. We know that whenever a line which is meeting this triangle in two distinct points is parallel to the third side then the they are divided in the same ratio. What are divided in the same ratio? The sides are divided in the same ratio. So we can see here that AB is divided in the ratio AD by DB and AC is divided in the ratio AE by AC. So I can say this is my basic proportionality theorem which is given by BPT. So by basic proportionality theorem I can say AD by DB is equals to AE by EC. Just substitute AD is 1.5 by DB is 6, AE is X and EC is 8. So cross multiply 1.5 into 8 is equals to 6X. We know 1.5 into 8 is 8 5s are 40, 8 1s are 8, plus 4 is 12. So 12.0 means 12, 12 is equals to 6x or x is equals to 12 by 6, 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12. So we got the answer of x as 2, that is nothing but option B. 18th question is, which of the following cannot be the probability of an event? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 2.3. We know that, always remember, the probability of an event lies between 0 and 1. So only in one that is D option we have the probability is more than one that is probability is given as 2.3. So this cannot be the probability. So option D. An event which cannot occur on any account is called an dash. We know that whenever any event cannot occur and on any account that is called as impossible event. So option A. The last question is ABC is a right angle triangle at C. If BC is equals to A, CA is equals to B. AB is equals to C and PB the length of perpendicular from C to AB, then what is the correct option? Okay, don't modify this. It's very easy. The answer is very easy. You have from this figure, you have to draw the triangle. It told in the question that ABC is a right angle triangle. So let this be C, which is a right angle triangle because it is telling me that C is right angled in the question and it is telling me BC is A. So let this be B. So BC is given as A. CA is equals to B. So this, let this be A. It is given as A and AB is given as C and PB the length of perpendicular from C to AB. So let this be a perpendicular which is drawn from C to AB. That length is given as P. C square that is AB square is equals to BC square plus AC square. So what is AB length given? C square. What is BC length given? A square plus what is AC given? A. So A square plus B square. So we have c square is equals to b square plus a square. But if you observe here, the value of c we should get because in the options we don't have c value. We have options in terms of p square, a square and b square. So we can find out the value of c by taking out the area of triangle. Let this be equation 1. Area of triangle can be written as half into base into height. If you observe, if you take the triangle like this, a, c, b. This is my height. So height is given as a. And this is my base, so base is given as BC. So half into base, base is B into height is A. So this is something but half AB I can say. Let this be equation 2. Now also I can write area of triangle ABC as, if you observe here, this can be my height and this can be my base. That is, this can be my base and this can be my height. So the base here is C I can take and height I can take is P. Now again, so use the area of triangle formula, half into base, base is C, into height is P. So half CP, let this be equation 3. Now since both are area of triangle ABC only, compare equations 2 and equations 3. So if we compare equations 2 and equations 3, both will be equal. So half AB is equals to half CP. So half half will get cancelled, we got AB is equals to CP. Now in this equation, I need the value of C. So C is equals to AB by P. Okay, so this, let us see fourth equation. This fourth equation, we will substitute in first equation. So the value of C is AB by P. So we are substituting equation 4 in equation 1. So we will get, in place of C, if we substitute AB by P whole square is equals to B square plus A square. Now this square belongs to numerator as well as denominator. So it becomes AB square by P square is equals to B square plus A square. Now, if you observe in the question, we have 1 by p square on LHS. So, what we will do is this AB square will send on uh, in denominator on this side. So, 1 by p square is equals to this AB whole square. If it goes below, it becomes 
uh, AB square in denominator. And if you observe here, AB square, this square belongs to A as well as this square belongs to B. So I can write this as A square and B square. A square and B square. Now if you observe here, A square, B square belongs to B square as well as A square, B square belongs to A square. Because the sign separated between A square and B square is plus. So we can write this as B square by A square, B square plus A square by A square, B square. So here if you observe, B square and B square will get cancelled, A square and A square will be getting cancelled. So here I have 1 by P square, here I have 1 by A square and here I have 1 by B square. So 1 by P square is equals to 1 by A square plus 1 by B square is given in option A. So this completes our objective part of questions of paper, practice paper 1. Please stay tuned to our channel and if you understood this video, please show us some support by subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button and also share this video with your friends because if you share with others, then you will also get good reward. And if you have not watched the part 1 and part 2 of practice paper 1, you can go and watch. In those videos, I have uploaded the part A questions option wise. So this completes our whole 80 marks paper. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, click that bell icon.